What's up guys, it's Coach Drew, and today I'm gonna to give you guys four great passes that you need if you wanna be a great The first one is anytime we're attacking middle, we obviously have to read the nail defender. The nail defender is basically the gap defender or the defender that's helping out. So if you beat your primary defender, and the nail defender helps out and comes over, we're gonna have to be able to kick it and hit our shooter that's sliding the lines and shifting along the perimeter. So the first thing we're gonna do is drive and kick right there. If this defender helps out, takes away our middle drive, we have to kick it to their man and hopefully they can catch and knock down a wide open shot. The next thing we have to do is we have to be able to drive middle and if this guy doesn't help out as much, maybe he's just stunting, he doesn't want us to get a drive and kick opportunity because his guy's been making threes on us, so now we get downhill, but now we have this guy right here, a secondary defender, step up and take away our wide open layup. Then we're gonna do just a little shovel pass, a little underhand kind of little shovel to our big guy in the dunker spot or gray area so that he can catch, close step, and finish around the rim. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta work on passing from the wing drive. So if I'm over here, maybe I'm in triple threat now, I be my defender and I'm driving downhill and obviously you guys know in the shell drill, the defender rotates over and he steps up to take a charge. We'd avoid that charge right there and throw a baseline drift pass, almost going out of bounds and make an on time, on target pass to the player drifting to the corner on the opposite side. The other thing that we're gonna have to do, and this is one that a lot of players don't work on, but it's very necessary in games, is if the defense knows how to rotate, I beat my primary defender, the secondary defender comes over, the guy that's guarding the opposite player, my teammate on the wing, should X out and drop and take away this corner drift pass, which means we're gonna have to change, jump up, and normally you don't wanna jump to pass, but you know it's open because that defender x out and took the corner, and you're gonna throw an over top skip pass to your teammate on the opposite wing. Now that we've got those four passing options, I wanna show them to you full speed so that you can see how to work on them so that you can be a much improved passer in games. 